After 15 years, I just got divorced. Woo! I knew this group would celebrate my pain with me. Thank you. It's not that I didn't like him. I just needed new material. <laughs> you know, the state of Colorado, when you have kids and you get a divorce before they grant it to you, you have to attend parenting after divorce class. Personally, parenting after birth class might have been a little bit more effective for our marriage. <laughs> oh, you, thank you. Here's to you fuckers that are paying attention. Holy shit, that's good. You guys should have some of that. Woo. So we went to that class together. And when we walked in, there was a beautiful blonde sitting in the front row. I had to tell that fucker, this is not wife swap. Shortly after we got divorced, he sent our three-year-old over to my house wearing his cologne. My son so proud looked up at me and said, Mommy, I have man smell. So I sent him back to my ex's house wearing my perfume and I said, you know what? Tell daddy that somebody else is hitting that smell. <laughs> yeah. Send him over wearing your cologne, motherfucker memory bringing up shit. Ugh. <sighs> right? All right. Holy shit, that went right to my head. <laughs> Woo! I might take my clothes off. <laughs> now the bar's paying attention. <laughs> I'm actually really excited, looking forward to doing something I never thought I'd get a chance to do. Firemen. <laughs> My ex hates that joke, because <laughs> he's a cop. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking pictures and sending that shit back. Ah. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, though, dating's been rough. I'm gonna take some advice from Nora. She's not here, but I'm, we're, gonna, we're gonna meet up later. Cause man, I met my ex when I was in high school. It seems shit's changed. Apparently, if you like a guy in the bar, you don't pass him a note asking him if he likes you too. And I don't even have a good pickup line. Cause for 15 years, for me, it was so, you wanna? Although I have been told that will work at the bar too. <laughs> uh, and that's my problem. Like I'm always picking up on these hot young 23 sexy studly types. Like my brain is still 17 and that's what I'm still attracted to. Because I haven't had time to become jaded and lower my standards. <laughs> and because of that bullshit, my friend said I'm a cougar. Ah, oh, fuck you. I am not old enough to be a cougar yet. I say I'm a cougar in training. I'm a pro for a young, sexy training partner. <laughs> There might be some volunteers at the bar, but they are not paying attention. <laughs> Speaking of hunting defenseless prey, when hunting season rolled around, my friends started posting pictures of their dead animals on Facebook. And I had to ask them to stop, because I've been in dating season now for a couple months. You don't see me posting pictures of all the meat I've bagged and tagged. Thank you. <laughs> Much to, I think, one gentleman's slide earlier, I tried online dating. The internet rocks, except for chat rooms, because I've deducted that half the men in chat rooms are just looking for cyber sex. And the other half of men in chat rooms are looking for more cyber sex. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the chat rooms are like Epcot, full of ethnic diversity, kids, and lonely old people. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> And I feel like online guys are a little more slack with their opening lines. Had one guy tell me, hey baby, you'd look good on me. Or you'd make a cute future ex-wife. I even had one motherfucker try my line. He was like, so you wanna? So I did. Ah. <laughs> uh, Dull roar. You guys are on to a dull roar. All right, I'll tell you a couple more. I'll be out of here. I realized I'd been single too long when the check engine light came on for my vibrator, <laughs> which really fucking pissed me off because I just had it in for a lube job. Oh, with my divorce, I ended up with a lot of debt. Anybody in debt? Anybody in the loud section in debt? <laughs> no, they're spending money on alcohol and food, which I'm sure this wonderful establishment enjoys. Well, anyway, I'm getting phone calls for my debt, and I found a new way to deal with those fuckers. They call me up, they're like, I need to speak to Jill Tassie, please. May I ask who's calling? Is this Jill Tassie? Is that who you want me to be? Ma'am, this is a serious financial discussion. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to discuss right up first? Because, honey, you're two minutes into this phone call and it's 50 bucks a minute. It's actually working out great. I have half my debt paid off and I'm getting fucking calls for bills I don't even have. Thank you guys for putting up with me being up here and after these wonderful presentations. My name is Jill Tassie. I'll be down at Comedy Works next Wednesday. You can drop my name for free tickets. Thank you, John.